Hi friends, this is Mike, this is the Michael W. Hall channel, and tonight I'd like to play a piece called Ejercicio, which in Spanish means exercise, by the Spanish guitarist and composer Jose Ferrer. Now he lived in 1800s, 1835 to 1916, so he is a romantic figure who went into the uh, 20th century too. This piece is really appealing. Uh, a number of my really fine students are playing this for their practicals coming up. They're level three practicals. So this is from the RCM, the Royal Conservatory of Music um, Repertoire and Etude 2018 series, the newest one. So this piece, I'll play it and then I'll talk about it. Now the B section there has a repeat. I don't take it as per usual the RCM way in the exams they don't take the repeats most of the time. So this is one of the A2's. So of course you'll need to memorize list A, B, and C and um, some of you are doing the ejercicio and of course the Fernando Sor study on the next piece. So uh, next page. This piece uh, is marked Vols. The eighth note equals about 100 to 112. Uh, that means waltz. It has a waltz feel to it. So it's an exercise. It's an etude with a lot of musicality to it. So it only really has a couple of dynamic markings. It starts off, it says forte. Now, as Julian Bream used to say, it really it's a matter of character rather than volume or dynamics specifically. Um, sometimes. Now, there are times where you want to adhere in other styles of music um, but here it's uh, well there's a romantic feeling to it so I do try to stretch a bit the beat but I want to make sure it's solid see it starts off lyrically and I'm gonna swell just a bit and play strongly you want to be heard you have to project first you have to be heard the guitar is a quiet instrument, so we don't want to be tentative in our attempt to be to have expression. So it starts off lyrically but strong, and then to that waltz feel. So what I do is play the second beat staccato. There are some select places where I don't do that, but I come to that waltz. That's how I get it. Right there, I make all that legato. It's a string of 16th notes and 3 8 time. Great E minor key. And then I resolve that there's a B7 chord. And back to the theme. So you get a chance to express that several times. It doesn't have a repeat sign in the A section. Now the B section, starting at um, measure 17, starts on the dominant chord. We talked about that in theory. So E minor is the tonic, B is the dominant. So it says cantabile, which means in singing style. And there's some room there with the dotted rhythms. And then you have a crescendo, and you want to make it really strong where it says forte. Then you go back to the main theme at the end here little B 
bass run and that great A sharp in there. B chord, E minor, slight retard, and land right on that eighth rest. And that will conclude the piece and you'll be ex um, successful with your expressions and I hope you enjoyed that and that helps you. Take care.